So this is smoked haddock with Dugler sauce. And this is a simple dish of fish with a white wine sauce. The reason I'm very fond of it is this smoked haddock, which is from Alfred Enderby of Grimsby. They're the smokers. Very good smoked haddock. Note it's not dyed. This is just the color of smoke in there. Poaching fish is a very, very good way of cooking fish. And what I do is put it in just cold water and then just bring the fish to a boil. And when it bubbles, I turn the fish off. I tend to find that then by the time the heat's gone down, it's cooked perfectly. So I can just leave that to do its thing now. The next part is to cut up some tomatoes. Now, first of all, I just take the stalk end out and then I just do a little cross the top like that. And then I just pop them in the water here for about 30 seconds. So I can see they're beginning to split a little bit. The ease of having blanched thing, I'll just take the skin off. Now to chop the tomatoes. So just chop those up, quite small. What I'm trying to do here all the time is just to keep things as simple as possible, but you do need to chop up a tomato, a bit more of a chop. There we go. Now this is what I do, which is entirely not what you're taught at cookery school. I'm just going to put the um, tomatoes in there and just give it a shake over the sink so all the juice comes out. So you don't want the juice in there because it will just make the sauce a bit too runny. So there's the tomatoes and now for the sauce. Now this is a, a white wine sauce and again I've taken a few liberties with it I have to say just to make it easier. To start the white wine sauce you take some butter and melt it in a pan. I perhaps should be showing you how to um, chop an onion. Basically what you do is go along like, like that, do it a second time and then just run your knife through once or twice, once will do here I think, and then just go the other way like that. Into my pan goes the shallots. Wooden spoon and just sweat. Okay, now here's something that I do do, which wasn't in the original recipe. A sauce van blanc doesn't have flour in it, but I like to put a bit of flour in it. I'm looking at about five grams of flour here. A bit like putting flour in your gravy, you know, it just means it's naturally thicker. So there we go, that's what I mean by sweating. No colour, but just the onions beginning to soften. Now, here's the interesting bit. The white wine. You can use any white wine, not sweet white wine. I quite like actually using vermouth like Nolly Pratt, but this is an old bottle. I used to have a winery in Australia called Tower. This is 2007 Tower Riesling. It's not really very drinkable, but it's fine for a white wine sauce. So you want about 50 mils of white wine in there, that sort of amount. And then you just boil that away to nothing really. And now for the, some stock. Now again, sauce du glaire in the French classic style is made with fish stock. But I actually use chicken stock quite a lot of the time as well. And this is chicken stock. Just add all that in. Just let that boil away and that will gradually thicken up. Now I'm just looking at my pieces of smoked haddock and I'm just sensing a couple of little bubbles happening here. So I'm probably gonna turn off the heat for the smoked haddock in about 10 seconds, see that? That's what I mean by a true boil, a true, true bubble. So just turn that off and just leave it then. What I'm looking for is a temperature of about 65 degrees in the center of the fish, which will mean that it's still a little bit moist in there, but it's definitely cooked through. Parsley. The way I measure parsley is just a small handful and just chop that up. So that's reduced down very nicely now. So I'm just gonna get rid of those shallots. So just pass that through to get rid of the shallots. And then back on the heat. And now to finish off, and now we really go for the cream. Just bring this up to the boil. So that's looking really quite nice and silky now. And now for the cream, which is um, really what this sauce is all about. So let's put about 100 ml of cream in there and have a look at it. See how that thickens the sauce? What I'm looking for now is um, coating the back of a spoon consistency. It's not quite there. 
So I guess this is where there's a bit of skill comes in, is knowing when to when to stop. And also, with a sauce like this, you you really it does cook on. That means that when you take it off the heat, the residual heat in the sauce continues to drive the water off, to drive the steam off. Look at that. I mean, as a cook, getting a sauce looking like that in the pan is very satisfying. So I'm going to put enough of these ingredients into my sauce. And first of all, slightly more tomatoes than I intended. So let's say a small handful of tomatoes and slightly more parsley than I intended. And just stir that in. A bit more tomato, I think. Okay, so I'm just letting that drain off a little bit because I don't want the poaching liquor all over the plate. So just put that on the plate and just anoint. That's a good word, anoint my smoked haddock with an exceptionally lovely sauce. Just cook some baby potatoes. And what I love to do is just poach my potatoes in mint, put a bit of mint on the plate. But there you have it. Ba-boom, my favorite way with smoked haddock.